We start with a point. Hey everybody, nice to have you back again. It's the Imagining the Tenth Dimension video blog. Today's entry is called Cymatics, Gravity, and Light. Now I want to talk a little bit about the video that we've got behind me here, which uh, is actually a video I published a couple months ago called Strength of Gravity, Speed of Light. Now I'll put up a link if you want to watch the whole thing, but I just wanted to talk about the uh, background that I used in the second half of this video, which demonstrates concepts we touched very briefly on in a blog entry from February called More Slices of Reality. Kladni plates and cymatics. Now I'll put up a link to the cymatics video which I used as the source to generate the special effect that you're seeing in behind me in my uh, strength of gravity speed of light video. Last time in light has no speed we looked at a presentation made by physicist and author Peter Russell. In it he showed how from light's perspective it's not part of our space-time. From light's point of view, there is no space, no time, no mass. Light does not exist within the world of space, time, and matter. In Strength of Gravity, Speed of Light, we looked at a new theory by Dr. Eric Verlind of the University of Amsterdam, who suggests that gravity is something that naturally arises from our position within the multiverse landscape, in the same way that the quality of liquidity naturally arises from water. Many theoretical physicists have said that gravity is the only force which exerts itself across the extra dimensions, and Dr. Verlin's theory suggests a reason for this to be so. Rolling these concepts from Dr. Verlin and Dr. Russell together presents us with further ways of connecting to the ideas discussed in my video. If both gravity and light are outside of our space-time, then our reality is produced by the interference patterns created as a result of gravity and light pushing against one another. Our beautiful, chaotic, fractal world is like a much more highly detailed version of the cymatics patterns we're looking at here. Our universe is the shadow of an extra-dimensional hologram, created, as all holograms are, through constructive interference to reveal the reality each of us are observing right here and right now. How cool is that? Now, next time we're going to talk about polls 65 to 68, and the name of the blog entry is Thinking Big. My name's Rob Bryanton. Enjoy the journey.